Good afternoon. My name is Ana Maria Lopez and in this video I am going to present the main points of our work Teachers' Expectations regarding the creation and use of audiovisual materials. The author of this work have been working with the aim of encouraging university teachers to use educational videos. We have developed models for the design of formative courses on the use of information and communication technologies adapted to the real needs of this group of teachers. We have applied this model to create our own open resources to support educational video creation. So our focus follows a user-centered methodology in order to personalize support resources to the profile of the intended learners. In the research we present today, we seek to detect teachers' motivation and feelings towards the task of creating and using educational videos. This objective was set before the confinement due to COVID-19, but we know that this fact has influenced our results. We start from the hypothesis that the use of educational videos in the higher education context is being delayed by factors not related to their formative potential. To prove this, we focus in a group of teachers teaching in the face-to-face -face modality, attending a course about e-learning methodologies. Most of them had their first experience with video creation during confinement. We want to answer four research questions. Two, with the aim to confirm that the percentage of teachers creating educational videos is low and two, to detect the benefits and problems that teachers associate to create their own audiovisual materials. We don't want to obtain the well-known list of advantages and disadvantages of educational videos, but teachers' feelings towards this task. We obtain information to answer these questions through a content analysis of a teacher's answers to the questions. Do you create your own educational videos? Are you considering it? How would you face this tax? Which are your feelings to it? 44 of the participants had created video for their teaching activity, though almost half of them had begun during COVID-19 pandemic. About 35% are considering doing it in the future. Only a 14% from the total of participants stated that they think that educational videos are not necessary. To answer research questions 3 and 4, each post is analyzed searching for statements with positive or negative meaning. We can see that most of the answers, about 55%, include a negative feeling. Perceived benefits are the positive feedback from students the enhancement of meaningful learning, reusability, or the conviction that videos are better than just test. On the contrary, to create this material, it is necessary a long time that does not compensate their advantages. Teachers consider that their videos have poor quality because it is very complex to obtain good results. We can conclude that most teachers show a negative attitude towards the tax of educational video creation, though they think that audiovisual materials are good educational tools. It supposes a great effort generally little recognized. They are not satisfied with their videos, although students highly value this type of content. For these reasons, it is necessary to develop formative plans adapted to the profile and needs of the teachers to impulse the use of auto-generated educational audiovisual. It is also important to provide simplified tools ready to check all the basic quality aspects of these videos. To end, teachers must understand that they need not need to become expert video creators. Thank you very much.